English essay on mobile phone a curse or blessing? This is the question the country is asking. Mobile phones are considered by many as an essential part of modern day life, from the business person who uses the mobile phone as a vital link with the office, to the teenager who has the phone for recreational use. By using mobile phones are we damaging our long-term health just to stay in contact or worse simply just for a good image? Mobile or cellular phones have changed dramatically over the past two or three years. The new generation of WAP phones now allow the user to connect to the internet, send email and even listen to the radio. The email feature, a tremendous advancement in technology, allows business people to contact their office at any time day or night. Not only can email be used throughout Britain, but also messages can be sent globally. Sending email is not nearly as expensive as the conventional methods of contact, therefore has the potential to reduce costs considerably for the company. The email can be sent anytime, not just within office hours and time differences between countries are no longer a consideration. Many mobile phone users claim one of the main advantages of ownership is the ability to contact friends or family in the event of an emergency. Most women who travel alone feel more secure knowing that in an emergency or breakdown they can summon help without leaving the safety of their car therefore the mobile reduces the chances of being run over or worse raped by having your mobile phones with you could it be a silent killer the reduction in costs associated with owning and using a mobile phone largely due to the introduction of the new pay and go tariff means that many more people are now able to afford a mobile phone the main disadvantage of this is that the networks can become overloaded and make it extremely difficult to connect to the network. The consequences of this could be disastrous. Mobile phone owners are lead to believe that they can contact help in the event of an emergency when, in effect, the crowd network may make this impossible. Many parents are increasingly buying mobile phones to stay in contact with their children. In doing so are they endangering their own health? And more importantly the health of their children? Many studies have been commissioned to assess the health risks associated with ownership and use of a mobile phone. Mobile phone emits a type of electromagnetic Radiation called radio frequency radiation, RFR. The possible health risks of RFR can be characterized in two ways, thermal and non-thermal. Thermal effects occur when enough RFR, at certain frequencies, is absorbed to be converted to heat, increasing tissue temperature. However, non-thermal effects and their health risks are something of an unknown quantity. Though disputed, it suggested they can occur at lower levels of exposure and involve changes to body cells, possibly leading to anything from memory loss and headaches to tumors and even Alzheimer's. So far, reports and investigations have been inconclusive. The long-awaited study by Sir William Stewart into mobile phone safety concluded, The balance of evidence does not suggest mobile phones technologies put the health of the general population at risk. Subscribe my channel English Essay by Alexandra Daddario.